the Dezevi Provincia class is one of the best frigates in NATO. Until the surface combatants of the future air defender program are commissioned in the 2030s, four ships of this class will continue being the backbone of the Royal Netherlands Navy's surface fleet. So, the Netherlands is working on increasing the combat capabilities of these frigates to prepare them for the new world after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. As a weapon detective, we're now investigating the Dezevi Provincia class and its future. The Dezevi Provincia class is also known as the LCF class. The LCF is the abbreviation of Luchfurde de Hinds and Kommandofrat, meaning Air Defense and Command Frigate. Even though the Dezevi Provincia class is designed for the missions as the name LCF suggests, these frigates have participated in low intensity operations due to the end of the first Cold War. But now the second Cold War is rising and the Royal Netherlands Navy is preparing them for the new world order. The story of the Dezevi Provincia class goes back to the late 1980s. Just before the end of the first Cold War, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain, the UK and the USA initiated the joint NATO frigate replacement for the 90s, shortly the NFR-90 program. The Netherlands entered the project to replace its Trom and Jakob van Hamskerk class ships. However, as usual, these eight nations had different agendas and requirements and the partnership quickly dissolved. So, Germany, the Netherlands and Spain initiated the Trilateral Frigate Cooperation Program in 1993. Later, Spain left the project and continued with its F-100 program which led to the creation of the Alvaro de Bazan class frigate. After that, Germany and the Netherlands proceeded with a new approach in which the TFC project gave up on sharing the hull and engine and focused on standardizing the equipment such as electronics and weapons. So these two countries designed the Zagsen class and the Dezevi Provincia class separately. The first of its class, HNLMS Dezevi Provincia, was laid down on September 1, 1998, launched on April 8, 2000 and commissioned on April 26, 2002. Koninklijke Skelde Hurup, which is today's Dam and Skelde naval shipbuilding, built all four ships. The Dezevi Provincia class has a stealthy design. All other surfaces are sloped and made of radar absorbing materials. Also, there are special coatings on the ship. Before being released, the hot exhaust gases are mixed with cold air and cooled to reduce the infrared signature. The hull is divided into seven bulkheads. The bulkheads that separate them are equipped with an anti explosive and anti munition treatment called Prima. Thanks to its design, the blast waves are deflected in case of an explosion and the ship can maintain its structural integrity even if the hull suffers significant damage. The frigate can be operated in a CBRN environment. The controllable pitch propellers of the Dezevi Provincia class can be efficient for the full range of rotational speeds and load conditions. They also improve vessel maneuverability by directing a strong water flow onto the rudder. The frigate's double rudder has a built-in anti-rolling function. Thanks to the advanced automation systems, the Dezevi Provincia class can be operated by a 174-person crew if necessary, even though its standard complement is 202-person. The ship can accommodate another 30 people, such as special operation units, survivors and evacuated civilians. The helipad is 27 meters long. It is also fitted with a Sahami system allowing the launch and recovery of helicopters. The Royal Netherlands Navy initially deployed the Lynx helicopters onto the Dezevi Provincia class. Now these frigates operate the NH-90 NFHs. According to the Royal Netherlands Navy's official website, the complement of the Dezevi Provincia class is 202 person. The ship has a length of 144 meters a beam of 17 meters and a drought of 7 meters. Its fully loaded displacement is 6050 tons. 
The combined diesel or gas configuration propulsion system consists of two 26,150 horsepower Rolls-Royce Spey SM1A turbines and two 6,800 horsepower Wurzela 16 V26 diesel engines. The top speed of the Dizavi Provincia class is 30 knots. The range is 9,300 kilometers, in other words, 5,000 nautical miles. The D-band Smart Owl long-range air search radar of the Dizevi Provincia class has a maximum range of 400 km. It can detect low observable targets at 65 km. Thanks to the software upgrade performed in 2018, the radar's ballistic missile detection range extends to over 2,000 km. The Smart Owl can detect 1,000 air and 100 surface targets simultaneously. The IJ-band APAR is highly effective for the detection of sea skimming missiles. It can track over 200 air targets out to 150 km and 150 surface targets out to 32 km. Using the interrupted continuous wave illumination technique, the radar can simultaneously guide 32 semi-active radar-guided air defense missiles in flight, including 16 in the terminal guidance phase. The frigate's 40-cell Mark 41 vertical launching system carries 32 RIM-66SM-2MR Block 3A and 32 RIM-162ESSM air defense missiles. RIM-66SM-2MR Block 3A has a command and inertial mid-course guidance with monopoles semi-active radar homing in the terminal phase of the interception. The missile has a maximum range of 170 km and an effective altitude of 25,000 meters, in other words, 82,000 feet. Its top speed is Mach 3.5. The RIM-162 ESSM has a range of 50 km and a maximum speed of Mach 4. The Dizevi Provincia class carries 8 RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles with a 221.6 kg semi-armor-piercing warhead. It has a range of 124 km and a maximum speed of Mach 0.85. Initially, the Royal Netherlands Navy planned to fit the Dizevi Provincia class with the 120mm Buffers TAK-120 L50 guns dismantled from the Trump class frigates to reduce costs. But later, it changed this decision in favor of the 127mm Auto Breda 127-54 Compatto dismantled from the Iroquois-class destroyers of the Royal Canadian Navy. This gun has a rate of fire of 40 rounds per minute and a range of 23 km. The Dizevi Provincia class has two goalkeeper close-in weapon systems which combine a 30mm 7-barrel gun, search and tracking radars, an electro-optic tracker and a laser rangefinder on one turret. It can track 30 targets simultaneously and the fire control computer can engage 4 in order of priority. The goalkeeper has a rate of fire of 4200 rounds per minute and a maximum effective range of 3 km. Besides the NH-90 NFH, the Dizevi Provincia class has the DSQS 24C hull-mounted sonar and two Mark 32 Mod 9 twin torpedo launchers with Mark 46 Mod 5 torpedoes for the anti-submarine warfare missions. The 324mm Mark 45 Mod 5 torpedo has a range of 9.25 km and a speed of 45 knots. The Dizevi Provincia class frigates have participated in numerous operations and exercises in the seas and oceans such as the Atlantic, the Mediterranean, the Black Sea, the Persian Gulf, the Serta Gulf, the coast of Lebanon, and the South China Sea. Even though these vessels were created for air defense and command missions, they have mainly conducted many anti-piracy missions in the Gulf of Aden. The Dizevi Provincia class frigates were commissioned after the end of the First Cold War. So, it was natural that they were used for low-intensity missions. As the footsteps of the new Cold War were on the doorstep, the Netherlands decided to upgrade the combat capabilities of the Dizevi Provincia class ships in 2011. But in those years, the threat was considered not so near and the plan progressed slowly. However, the Russian invasion of Ukraine has changed the situation. 
the Royal Netherlands Navy will execute extensive modifications and replacements on the De Zevi Provincia class between 2024 and 2029 when the frigates undergo major maintenance. Many subsystems of the frigates, which are not in production anymore, will be changed with new ones. For example, cooling installations, hoisting equipment, heating boilers, fire alarm installations, and smaller electronics such as navigation radars and electro-optical and communication systems will be replaced. While numerous obsolete software will be updated, network and computer systems will also be renewed. Still, the main changes are related to the radar and weapon systems. The Royal Netherlands Navy has already been working on providing anti-ballistic missile capabilities to the frigates for some time. The studies have examined the feasibility of integrating the RAM-161C SM-3 Block 1B missile with the Smart L and APAR. The Navy concluded that certain modifications to the radars and the ship's combat management system would be enough to achieve this goal. The Dezevi Provincia class ships are getting the new Smart L Mark II. The APAR radar will have an extended range of 400 km. Besides, the Dezevi Provincia class frigates will get an extra 8-cell vertical launch module with the SM-3 Block 1Bs. This missile has a range of 1,200 km and a top speed of Mach 8.8. The ESSM Block 1 missiles of the ship will be replaced by the Block 2 variant. This version leverages the Block 1 rocket motor and features a dual-mode X-band seeker and increased maneuverability. Block 2 also has an enhanced communication system that allows for mid-course guidance correction, which makes the missiles easier to network into the Navy's emerging cooperative engagement capability. Unlike its predecessor, this variant's active radar homing seeker supports terminal engagement without launching the ship's target illumination radars. Still, the most intriguing change is the land attack capability of the frigates. The Dezevi Provincia class will be equipped with the BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile with a range of 460 km. Also, the harpoons will be replaced with the NSMs. This land attack capable anti-ship missile has a maximum speed of Mach 0.95. Its range is over 185 km. The NSM has a 125 kg high explosive blast fragmentation warhead. Its high resolution passive imaging infrared seeker has advanced software that can independently detect, identify and discriminate the ships. The missile can choose its target autonomously. It does not require pre-targeting before the launch. Another change which will enhance the land attack capability is the replacement of the 127mm Autobreda 127-54 Compatto with the 127mm Autobreda 127-64. This gun can fire the Volcano guided munition with a range of 120 km. Speaking of the guns, the goalkeepers will be replaced with the Ram Closen missile weapon system. As you can see, all these changes will make the Dezevi Provincia class the highest combat capable frigate in Europe. The Netherlands and Germany are now cooperating toward a joint platform design to replace their Zaxxon class and the Dezevi Provincia class frigates from 2030 2035 onwards. However, the modernization of the Dezevi Provincia class may cause some delays in this program. After all, it is unreasonable to think that the Netherlands has undergone such an extensive modernization of its four existing frigates to use them for only 10 years. Besides, the increasing threat perception caused by the Russian invasion of Ukraine will probably delay the retirement of the Dezevi Provincia class. So, most likely, we will continue to see these four frigates on the sea for more decades. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.